Are you looking for an e-scooter that you can take on your adventures? In this video, I'll show you my top 5 off-road electric scooter picks. These bad boys have enough power to take on any kind of terrain and last for hours of use. If there's one thing I can promise, it's that I didn't hold back on this list. I included everything that you need to know about each electric scooter, including their drawbacks. There is no fluff in this video and I made sure to only include the facts that actually matter, like the unique features, speed and range, price, and the pros and cons of each model. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. All the links to products mentioned in this video will be in the description below, so for the most up-to-date information along with the latest prices, make sure to check out the description. The e-scooters in this video are in no exact order, so make sure to stick with me till the end so you don't miss anything. Let's start this list off with a bang. The Wolf Warrior 11 is my choice for the e-scooter with the best performance. It's one of the best electric scooters in the market and its performance justifies its $3,000 price tag. This high-speed electric scooter that's made for any type of riding for commuting and leisure is equipped with high-performance components that make it stable and comfortable on any type of road. You name it, the Cobble Wolf Warrior 11 can ride through sand, grass, dirt, gravel, cement, asphalt, and many more. And thanks to its upgraded motorcycle-grade hydraulic shock absorbers and rear spring brake, you won't feel much discomfort. This electric scooter is equipped with two powerful 1200-watt motors that enables you to reach a whopping 50 miles per hour top speed in seconds. That's almost fast enough to ride on a freeway. And if the speed isn't enough, wait till you hear how far you can go on this beast. With its massive 34 amp hour LG or Samsung battery, riders can enjoy long distance rides up to 70 miles on a single 8 hour charge cycle. You really wouldn't mind the long charging time if it's good enough for days of use. And paired with its power is a durable frame and a couple of safety features such as the reliable brakes, all terrain wheels, and ultra wide deck for better balance. It also comes with bright LEDs for low light conditions and a high resolution LED screen for viewing useful information about the e-scooter. However, there is no such thing as a perfect product, meaning the Wolf Warrior has its fair share of drawbacks. It's not very portable and it weighs 101 pounds, which might not be ideal for daily commutes. Plus, you might find it a little pricey as compared to other models out there. But if you have bucks to spend and you're looking for an e-scooter that would give you the best riding experience, you better not miss out on the Cabo Wolf Warrior 11. I wanted to quickly mention that this video is based on an article on my zippyelectrics.com website which is more in-depth and up-to-date, so if you want more information then I will leave the link to this article in the description below. Next on the list is the UberScoot 1600W electric scooter, the best seated e-scooter. It has a great mix of durability, speed, and range. It features different riding modes that enables you to conserve battery life on long distance rides, but that isn't the most notable feature under its belt. Among other things, the most notable thing to mention about this e-scooter is the included seat. Riding off-road terrain has never been this comfortable. For the reasonable price of around $700, you are getting a durable electric scooter equipped with 1600 watts of power to reach speeds up to 30 miles per hour and climb steep inclines with absolute ease. However, it does fall short on distance. The maximum range is only 12 miles on a single charge that takes around 6 to 8 hours. And that still depends on the speed and rider weight. Nevertheless, the Uber Scoot is still a top choice thanks to its ride quality. It is equipped with massive 11-inch knobby tires that roll smooth on any type of surface. It's built with two disc brakes in the front and rear for an extra dose of safety. It comes with a wide deck where you can attach the seat for maximum comfort and equipped with the best suspension systems on an electric scooter. However, there isn't a single e-scooter without faults. The Uber Scoot does fall short on a couple of aspects, such as the long charging time, the loud motor, and the heavy frame. I think it's only reasonable because the manufacturer focused more on safety and reliability above anything else. The Uber Scoot 1600 watt electric scooter is the perfect option for you if you're looking for the best seated e-scooter that you can use for these long strolls in the park. Here's a good question for you. What is the main criteria you use when choosing your electric scooter? Is it price, speed, or range? Let me know in the comment section below. Style and performance. These are the best words that describe the next item off the list. The Mantis Pro. My choice for the best premium e-scooter. It exceeds all expectations on all aspects and is made for riders who want only the best of the best. The Mantis Pro will give you the best of both worlds. It's an excellent option for commuting and for off-road adventure riding as well. It is sleek and compact enough for zipping through city streets on the weekdays, but equipped with performance for taking on challenging roads during the weekend. How much does a versatile performance cost? 
Right now, you can get the Mantis Pro for only $1,500, and after hearing about its specs, it is going to be worth every penny. It's a well-rounded electric scooter. It only weighs 65 pounds, which is pretty light considering it's equipped with a massive motor and battery for performance. The two 1000 watt motors allow you to reach speeds topping at 40 miles per hour, but you also have the option to use a single motor to save battery life, allowing you to reach a maximum distance of 50 miles between charges. With that amount of performance, you wouldn't believe it's coming from a compact and lightweight model you can ride in the city. But it gets better. The Mantis Pro delivers smooth ride quality on any type of terrain, thanks to its advanced swing arm suspension. For added safety, it comes with two responsive full hydraulic brakes, enabling riders to gradually slow down when coming from fast speeds. As for its features, it comes with the essential stuff, such as your LED screen for viewing speed and battery level, and multiple LEDs for better visuals at night. If I can think of a single drawback on this almost perfect electric scooter, it would probably be the absence of Bluetooth features that would help you navigate around the city. However, you can always buy a mount for your phone and use third-party apps for navigation, which isn't much of a hassle if you ask me. If you don't mind shelling out a few bucks for an e-scooter that'll definitely give you a premium experience, you might want to check the Mantis Pro out. Now, I've also made detailed individual reviews on all of these electric scooters on my list today, so if you want more information on a particular one, then you can check it out by clicking on one of the links in the description below or visiting my YouTube channel. Up next is the Kiwa Q Mini 2, my choice for the best heavy-duty e-scooter. It's a compact heavy-duty electric scooter that packs serious power for its size. It can run at insane speeds and reach far distances, all while being able to handle a maximum load capacity of 285 pounds, which is perfect for riders on the heavy side. It is equipped with 2,000 watts of power, allowing riders to comfortably reach top speeds up to 40 miles per hour, and thanks to its 23.4 amp hour LG battery, you can travel distances up to 40 miles on a single charge. As for ride quality, the Q Mini 2 does not disappoint. It comes with double shock absorbers and 10 inch vacuum tires for maximum ride comfort on any type of terrain. Plus, it fits perfectly in your car's trunk thanks to its quick folding mechanism. Some of the best features include a USB mobile charging function, a remote alarm, a remote function, headlights, and brake lights. It's also water resistant with an IPX6 waterproof rating. For the price of a little over $1,300, you will be getting the best features and performance on a 63-pound electric scooter. It might not have Bluetooth connectivity, but it makes up for the lack of features with its durability, style, and performance. It's perfect if you're looking for a durable, heavy-duty e-scooter that'll give you the best value for your money. So do you like the level of detail I'm providing you in this roundup review video so far? If so, make sure to like my video and hit that subscribe button for more high quality videos relating to e-scooters that I'll be releasing every single week. Next is the Razer RX200, my choice for the best e-scooter for kids. If adults can ride through forest trails and dirt roads, kids can too. It's one of the best off-road electric scooters explicitly made for kids. Now, you can take your kids with you on your weekend adventures with your very own electric scooter. Some off-road electric scooters are not suitable for children because they are too fast, too heavy, or too big for them to ride and control safely. The Razer RX200 is made for kids, which is why its specifications are just right for kids to handle and to ride safely. The speed is very reasonable, especially for a Razer e-scooter. It can reach up to 12 miles per hour and work for one hour of continuous use. It features off-road tires, a disc braking system for safety, and a new gear ratio that increases the torque for high-performance off-road riding. The manufacturer suggests this e-scooter for kids ages 13 and over, but some kids with enough riding experience can take on this powerful kids e-scooter with ease. Just don't forget to keep them under close supervision at all times. This electric scooter goes for only $200 in the market, which is pretty cheap for an off-road electric scooter. However, there are some drawbacks that reflect on the price, such as a long charging time. It takes 12 hours to get a full charge on this thing, which is very disappointing because you only get one hour of playtime. Another drawback is the poor range, but it might be suitable for kids so they don't wander off too far. If you're looking for a safe e-scooter that your kids can use during their outdoor playtime, then you might want to check out the Razer RX200. I hope the different choices and reviews I included in this list will help you decide which off-road scooter is best for you. If I were to give you one final tip on how to choose a good electric scooter for all-terrain, just choose something based on your budget, riding style, and skills as a rider. You can also check my reviews on the best electric scooters for commuting. Just click here and I'll see you in the next video.